I'm here today at the Trupp Cooking School with Dorota Trupp, who is a nutritionist, author, as well as an expert in digestive health. Thank you for having me here Thank today. you so much for coming. <laughs> now we're here to find out about gut flora as well as fermented foods. Now fermented foods does sound kind of unusual, but not a lot of people realize that there's so many things that we eat in everyday life that are fermented, like yogurt and sourdough bread, even things like chocolate and coffee have a fermented element to it. So what is so special about fermented foods? Fermented foods are pre-digested food by specific bacteria and when we look under the microscope we see this bacteria matches the kind of bacteria that lives in our digestive system and this is the good type, that the one that keeps us healthy. Um, as well as fermented foods is easier to digest and it's got more nutrients, yep. specific, uh, specific enzymes and um, it's just good for you. So I guess like yogurt for example when it's got that live culture in it, it is so much healthier for you it than is, just yes, the yeah. yogurt that's been treated with heat and so therefore there's no live bacteria. Well, it is because it's, uh, so it's lactose free if it's properly fermented. So for people who have a lactose intolerance, this is a good news because they can now eat yogurt and they can eat kefir, which is another fermented um, food which we have just in here. Um, so yeah, fermented foods are live foods. They have a lot of life force, yeah. a lot of energy, a lot of vitamins and minerals and enzymes. They're really good for you. Plus this probiotic bacteria that I love so much because of the gut health. And what should we be eating on a daily basis? Kefir sauerkraut, kimchi, kombucha tea, you might Ooh, have heard of kombucha yes. tea, or you can think of water kefir, mm -hmm. those are all fermented foods, but as well beer, wine, mm -hmm. that's fermented food too, so there's a lot out there that we eat on a daily basis, we don't even realise, mm -hmm. um, but studies show that when you eat five fermented foods a day, your immune system function and digestion is far more better than compared to people who wouldn't have a fermented food. Wow, that's amazing. So it boosts your immunity and it also brings out the nutrients in just the ingredients, I guess. Yes, so what it does, it boosts your immune system function and it improves your digestion mm -hmm. and you, it adds a lot of vitamins and enzymes and probiotic bacteria into your system. And the probiotic bacteria strengthens digestive system function. So that's why it's so special okay. for you. So I've heard a lot about gut flora lately. I hear people talking about it, but to me it kind of sounds like there's a forest happening inside my stomach. <laughs> but I'm sure that's not what it means. What actually does gut flora mean? So gut flora, is almost like an additional organ that develop after the birth. It covers, it's a, it's a bacteria that covers our digestive tract. Uh, it's a barrier between, between the outside world and us really. So we have a lining, bacterial lining that covers our intestine. It is actually, uh, even in our mouth, so right from your mouth to your anus, mm -hmm. but predominantly you'd have your bacteria in your uh, small and large intestine. Is that why it's really important for immunity? So if you've got a strong lining, you're not gonna get as sick. Well, yeah, it's got many, many different functions. Um, imagine it as a protective barrier between, again, between us and the outside world. So whatever you ingest comes in contact first with that lining of, of the bacteria mm -hmm. and then the tissue after that. Um, we have anywhere between 1.5 to 3 litres of bacteria living in our gut. So wow. just look, look at that big um, jar in here, this is about 2 litres. Wow. So this is a lot of bacteria that, lives in, that is in our gut and it's got plenty of functions, there's many functions to it. Okay. Of course all protective, so predominantly we should be having beneficial bacteria, um, but there are also many other different bad bacteria that can be there. There's as well transitional bacteria that enters with the food that we ingest into our system. Predominantly, we should be having beneficial bacteria. So there is that good and bad bacteria yeah. and it's finding yeah. that balance. It is, yeah. What happens when it is out of balance? At any time when you might be losing some of the beneficial bacteria, for example, but because you've had some, um, some infection or you might have had uh, antibiotic course for a long time and you know antibiotics would kill the bad and the good sometimes it kills you beneficial flora um, and there is a need to re-establish some of the good bacteria in your system again your body naturally produces appendix would produce beneficial bacteria but you also might be adding some through the foods especially the fermented foods okay. or you might be taking probiotics which yeah. you might have heard if you take antibiotics self-help go and get probiotic supplement yeah. pop it in and it will help you to re-establish the gut flora so it is important because once we lose the gut flora there is always bad bacteria 
manifesting or a sort of multiplying in your system. And this is when you are in trouble. That's when you start having symptoms of gut problems. I noticed that a lot of people find that they might have irritable bowel syndrome yep. or that they have digestion problems or, and they're trying to diagnose it, but they're feeling quite lost. Yep. They don't know exactly what it is. They think yep. it might, might be a food intolerance, yep. might be too much sugar, but how can fermented foods help that? When you have a bad bacteria overgrowth in your gut, you might be experiencing some of the symptoms like diarrhea, bloating, mm -hmm. constipation, indigestion, pains. You might develop food intolerances. Mm -hmm. So this could be the sign of gut flora imbalance. Okay. Right? You can help it with fermented foods to wow. some extent, yep. as well as specific dietary plan. Um, you can't do it all with the fermented foods. There is, there is a bit more of an art to it, which is combining diet and uh, probiotic supplementations, fermented foods you really be establishing the gut flora balance. On the flip side, how would you recognize that you actually have a healthy gut flora? You should be relatively disease free. You should be having good digestion and good immune system function. Studies showed that, um, or autopsy on people who died from old age and didn't really experience much of an illness throughout their life, they have a strong composition of uh, beneficial bacteria in their gut. Whereas we find that people who died from chronic disease or immune conditions or prematurely, they, you, we usually find that they have a, some bad bacteria overgrowth in their wow. system or in their gut. So that's sort of, to me, a very clear uh, sign that, yes, if you have a strong beneficial bacteria in your gut, you live pretty much healthy life. So thank you so much for sharing You're your welcome. knowledge. Now I've got one last question to ask you. What are your tips for living a wholehearted life? I choose to be authentic. Yep. I let go of perfectionism. I honor my body. So I make sure that I have a wholesome diet and so should you. <laughs> this is the only place that you've got to live in, right? Your body, honor your body. Allow the time to, to play, to rest, um, and allow the time to heal and take a time off. I think that is just so important. A, a lot of people don't allow that time to rest. So thank you so much for having me today. Thank you so much for having me, thanks. <laughs>